All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So I hope everyone is doing well. Whoops. Guys, before we begin, good news. The coupon codes are now working again on the website. So if you want to book a reading, I do have a $20 off promotion. I'll leave it in the comment section. Okay, so let's take a look. So we have pile number one, pile two, and pile three. I'm just going to move these over. So how does this person on your mind currently feel about you? I'm so grateful for you. We have the two of swords. The king of wands could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of cups. We have karmic partner. And we have, I've wrote you messages that I've never sent. Okay, just wanna make sure you guys can see all the cards here. Okay, so. <clears throat> This is a love triangle for sure. We have the two of swords. We also have the karmic partner. We have the three silhouettes, right? Three people. Um, okay, so we're gonna dissect this. I know I'm gonna need to get clarifiers because we need to know what is going on, but I think I see the general idea here. This person really appreciates who you are. This person, um, they're in this energy where they're really looking at these positive qualities that you bring to the table, okay? Like they're looking, that's what they're seeing right now. That's what they're thinking about. They're very attracted to you. They have a lot of emotion for you. They have a lot of feeling for you. Ace of Cups, King of Wands. So it's not just physical for them, it's emotional as well. But they are kind of torn because while they see all these positive qualities that you have, Either there is someone else that they're interested in or they may already be involved with someone else, which is why I need to get some clarifiers. And this could be why they have wrote you messages that they just decided not to send because there could be another person that is potentially blocking them from being able to come towards you. I really do feel like this person is fighting every urge to come towards you though. Like I'm sensing that this person, like every ounce of them wants to rush towards you and act on this passion that they have. However... Two of Swords would make me believe that they're in this state of non-action right now, especially with this message too. You know, I wrote you messages, but I just never sent them. So let's find out why. Let's get some clarifiers and see. Let's clarify, I wrote you messages that I never sent. Why did this person do this? Why did this person do this? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something about attachment. So I don't know if, like typically how I read Queen of Pentacles reverse, if you guys watch my channel for a long time, usually that's my codependency card. So I don't know if this person was feeling too attached to the situation, maybe too attached to the outcome where they decided not to because they knew it would upset them if they didn't get the response that they wanted. For others of you, I'm not sure. Maybe this, this is that they're attached to someone else. Still, so let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they are not, why are they not taking action? Let's see, this will help me to understand this. How do they feel about this karmic partner? I just looked up and it was 333, by the way. How do they feel about this karmic partner? Oh, they're feeling depressed over this. Okay, so that gives us some clarity. So, cause the moon reverse is my depression card. So they're feeling depressed over a third party. They've wrote you messages that they've never sent. They are holding, they're deliberately like holding back their feelings. So this makes me feel like with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, I think this person is feeling a bit too attached to the outcome. Like they know that they would be devastated if you didn't respond in the way that they were hoping for. So they may just hold back as a means to try to keep control of the situation. Why is the Two of Swords here? The King of Cups. Wow, definitely another person because we have a lot of court cards coming out here. Gosh, there's so much going on in this pile. Okay, let me get another message. I'm getting way too many people here though. I want to fight for us. Can you get a message on this King of Cups? Get a message on this King of Cups. Thank you. They don't mean anything to me, I want you. Okay, so that does give me the clarity because I'm like, I know that there's someone else here. I'm having a hard time understanding like 
how this person is feeling. I know that they're depressed, but sometimes you can be depressed over a connection because you really care. So what I'm actually getting is that this person is dealing with someone else, but they're saying they don't mean anything to me. Like this person wants you. However, they're feeling like they're too attached to the outcome. And because of this, they're deliberately holding back. Okay, but they do want to fight for you. I just feel like this person is in this place of sort of non-action right now. Okay, so I hope that can kind of give you some clarity on what's going on with your person. So that's pile number one. Um, if you guys want to book something personal, like I said at the beginning, I do have three spots left. Okay, so let's move over to this one. How does this person feel? I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. We have the Ten of Swords. The Sun, they could be a Leo. Virgo, the Hermit. We have Bound, which is sort of like the Devil energy. You don't have to try so hard, I like you. Okay, pile two. Okay. All right, so. I think this person really hurt you in the past with their communication. This person might have ghosted you or they may have said something that was really hurtful. Okay. They're really thinking a lot about this. Um, I feel like in a way this person might have broke down your self-esteem a little bit here and they might have been aware that they were doing this. Like I feel like this person treated you in such a way where they knew it was going to affect you. Um, and that could be why maybe you have been trying hard with this person. And I feel like this, they can see this, but they're saying, you know, you don't have to try so hard. I do like you. I think this person... Um, I don't know why they did this. Let's see why they were acting. Like, why did they, why did they treat you in this way? Yeah, see, the eight of wands in her, did I not just say this person probably ghosted you? Something happened with, they hurt you with the communication. Eight of wands reversed. Why though? Why? Okay, 10 of pentacles reversed could have been like, Fears of commitment came up, or maybe this person didn't want to commit, so they started treating you badly. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? However, this is definitely an acknowledgement that this person it knows that how they communicated with you hurt you. Okay? But positive is they're taking responsibility for their mistakes. They're recognizing, oh, yes, I've made mistakes in this connection. I do think that this person withdrew from you out of embarrassment for how they acted with the hermit. Um, and it's interesting because the devil is here, which would indicate that this person is feeling like they can't seem to let you go. They're bound to you. There's some sort of hold that you have on this person. Clarify bound. Wow, the sun twice. Okay, so... What this person is realizing is that you were the source of a lot of their happiness. Like, you made this person really happy. And I kind of get the sense that they did not appreciate this when they had it. Like, they may not have realized that you were bringing them so much happiness. Okay, the sun coming through twice upright is significant, right? Um, this could also be strong Leo energy as well. But I feel like you... Because you bring so much happiness to this person's life, they feel kind of bound to you. Like they feel like they can't really let you go. Because how do you let go of someone who brings so much joy to your life? The problem is they did not appreciate you. And I feel like this is really starting to get to them because I do feel like this person is watching you online. Okay, we have the hermit here. This woman is on her computer. Um, you know, and this person sees how hard you try and this person sees like how much effort maybe you put into this connection and they know that you don't need to do so much, you know. I feel like, however, though, this person, because of how they communicated with you, they kind of put you in a position where because they weren't giving the same, you probably put in more effort, you know, and they're, they're taking responsibility for their mistakes. Let's get a message here. What does this person want to say? What do you even see in me? Oh, okay, so now we're getting some insight. This is making sense as to why this person didn't really appreciate you in the past because 
sometimes when we don't like ourselves and someone comes into our life who is like so enamored with us and likes us so much, we don't understand it. And often we treat that person badly. I'm not saying that this is healthy. We treat that person badly because we just don't get why would they like me so much? I don't even like myself. So this is where this person, this is how this person is feeling right now. Like, what do you even see in me? Why do you like me so much? Why do you try so hard for me? Like, I don't, they don't understand it. And so, you know, um, I think they're struggling to see the good qualities in themselves. Okay. I'm leaving the karmic I want you. So there's someone else involved. And we have please don't hurt me. Okay. So if you guys know that this person is already involved with someone else, they're planning on leaving this person because they want you. However, they're really afraid that you're going to hurt them probably in the same way that they hurt you. Okay, so that is pile number two. I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, I do have three spots left in the promotion. So let's move on to the third pile. How does this person feel? I'm struggling with money. Justice could be a Libra. Moon, Pisces. The Ten of Wands. Conclusion. And I'm overthinking what to say to you. Okay. Okay, this person's got a lot on their plate. Okay, yeah. So, obviously with the conclusion card, this is a connection that has already ended. Okay, I don't know if they ended it in the past, you ended it, it doesn't really matter, but this is a situation that has ended, and I feel like this was this ending was difficult for both of you. So you may not realize that because you know maybe you went through something hard and you thought to yourself, oh, they're fine. This person was just as let down or just as hurt by the ending, okay? It brought up a lot of fear. I feel like it brought up some shadow work for both of you guys. But on top of this ending, this person is also having financial issues. So that's creating a lot of like stress for this person with that ten of one ten of wands energy. They're feeling burdened. They're feeling like, oh my gosh, I've got way too much going on right now. They do want to make things right with you with the justice card here, but they're overthinking like, what do I say? How do I even fix things? Where do I even start? And I think because they're overwhelmed with other things in their life right now, it's also just making things seem heavier than they actually are. So let's see, let's grab a message from this person. Oh, okay, so we have stop trying to change me. Maybe this is what created the issues in the past for the two of you with the conclusion card. Maybe this person felt like you were trying to get them to do things that they didn't want to do. You're trying to change them in some way. I think the thing is this person, like the feeling that I'm getting from this person is that they already have so much pressure in their life that anything like even if you weren't even trying to change this person, right? Like they may see any little expectation as like overwhelming, okay? Just because they already have so much going on. See, exactly, that's what I'm saying. The two of pentacles reversed. This is someone who is juggling way too much. That's the thing. So I don't even know if it's that you were trying to change this person or you're trying to put pressure on them, but I think that they just have too much going on. The two of pentacles and the ten of wands is someone who's way too overwhelmed. They need to find balance. Let's clarify this. I'm overthinking what to say. Yeah, they do want to open. So if you guys have not spoke, they do want to open up the lines of the communication, four of wands reverse, but they don't know what to say to you. Let's clarify. Let's get a message on I'm overthinking what to say to you. I'm overthinking what to say to you. Let's get a message on that, please. If you saw the real me, would you run? So I think this person is a little bit afraid to show you their true self. Because if they show you their true self, would you run? I think they're overthinking what to say because they, they feel like they have to be someone that they're not almost. Yeah, see, I want to let you in, but I don't know how. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, they want to... 
the reason why they're overthinking is because I feel like this person is trying to maintain some sort of false self because they're afraid if you see the real them that you would run. And so they want to let you in, but they don't know how to let you in because think about that. Like, how do you let someone in if you don't want them to see the real you? That doesn't even make, like, those two don't go hand in hand. Like, how do you let someone in? You don't know because you, you, you can't let them see the real you. So this is something that this person really needs to work on. I'm not sure if they will open up communication. I guess it depends whether or not they can get over this. But just know that a lot of the way that this person responded to things in the past had to do with their sense of overwhelm. And they, they're also struggling a lot financially too, which, you know, that can take a toll on someone. Okay, so that is pile number three. So I truly hope that this resonated. If you guys want to book something personal, I do have three spots left for the promotion. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.